Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this is all about teaching you how to create print on demand designs using Canva. So if you're new to print on demand or t-shirt designing and you're looking for some helpful tips and tricks, be sure to stick around. So in today's video, we're going to be going over how to create this design right here. It says vasectomies prevent abortions. It is a trending niche right now. Um, it utilizes a few techniques that we've used before, but specifically in this video, I wanted to go over how you can use Canva color palettes to, to come up with different colors for your designs. So if that is something that you're interested in learning about, go ahead and stick around. Okay, so as always, we are going to start with our blank background. It is 4,500 by 5,400 pixels, and I will be designing on black as usual. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start there. Now this is going to be a text-based design, so I'm just going to use one of the trending um, one, one of the trending niches that I've seen lately, and that is uh, vasectomies prevent abortion. <laughs> and so I'm going to start with uh, T, and we are just going to go ahead and just start writing. And so I'm starting off with my first word, and I'm going to put every single one of these in their own box. It just gives me a little bit more room to play. So I can control the spacing in between words and letters and all of that a little bit easier if I make each line individually instead of just making it one big text box. Um, okay, so here we go. I've got my basic words. I'm going to go ahead and pick a font. Now, lately sort of the kind of 70s style, more retro, groovy kind of fonts have been pretty popular. I've noticed that a lot along with the colors as well and we will be going over how to select color palettes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a look at some of these sort of older, trippier fonts. So like here's a simple one, but it looks kind of groovy. And of course, I can do a search if I wanted to for, I could put groovy, for example, see if anything comes up, or funky is another one that came up, and it's going to give me some different fonts that it feels are groovy. Now, I do have some that I brought in from Creative Fabrica. So this groovy script regular is one that I use a lot when I'm trying to do more of a kind of retro 70s design. So I do like that one. I think I'm just going to use that one for, for this video. And so I'm going to go ahead and switch every single one of these to this font. And I can come down here where it says change all. Click that and it's just going to change all of my lines to that particular font. And then I can make all of these big. So something like that. Now before I worry about kind of how I'm going to space these, I want to pick some colors. So for this design, I'm going to show you how you can do sort of different color palettes. So if you were to come up here to elements, you can search color palette or even Canva color palette, which is what I put in earlier. Oops, color palette. And it's going to pull up, especially if I hit graphics here, a bunch of different color wheels that have different colors on them. And so you can use this to get ideas of kind of, you know, the different colors that you might want to use or incorporate. You can use some or all of them. You can combine them, but it just gives you some good ideas of different mixtures of colors. And so this is one that I like to use. Oops. So let's say I wanted to go with something like, doesn't really matter. Let's say I'm going to pick this one here. So it's got some cool colors. If this is the one I wanted to go with, and let's say I wanted to do every letter a different color, I could come up here, select my V, and then here I can just use this eyedropper right there and hover over any of the colors on the color wheel that I want to change it to. And so I could do this letter by letter and just hover over the different colors on the wheel. And you can see that as I do this, I can kind of recreate this color palette that I've selected. And so it's kind of a cool color palette. I'm a little bit worried about this darker blue color just because I don't know how well it's gonna pop on the black background. So you might wanna choose something that has some lighter colors and you can always play with it after the fact too. But this is a good way to sort of select color palettes. And so I can do this one more time and use the lighter color. There we go. And once I've kind of gotten all of my colors from the wheel, I can move it off. And now they're all going to be saved 
in my, uh, oops, in the colors that I have for this design. So if I was to, yeah, it's giving me trouble. Get just this O and come up to colors. Now you can see all the colors that I've used in this design up here. So then I can just kind of continue to, to copy these one by one and, and go letter by letter and, and do the same thing. And so pretty easy way to get some cool groovy colors. Um, so let's say I'm going to do something like this. And if I want to get rid of this dark color, I might just get rid of it entirely, or I might change it to another color just because it's 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 really looking kind of dark in there. So maybe another color that I think might go well with this might be like maybe in one of these kind of more coral colors. So let's say I take this up and I'm thinking maybe I want to get this darker color and turn it into more of a coral. So maybe something more like that there we go that way I can see it a little bit better it's not quite as dark on the black background and so it just pulled these colors here up here so that was easy for me to get and so that's one way that we can look at using different colors there's also something up here where it says on the side styles and if you were to click on styles there's also different color palettes available for you to use and different combinations of font and color palettes. So you can always play with some of these. And for example, if I was to click on this one, it is going to totally change my fonts and my colors. And I can circle through and it can go about changing different fonts and different colors. I don't particularly like any of that. I do like to kind of pick my own and as you'll notice it'll change the background color too that's why I don't like to use these very often but I do sometimes use the color palettes again just to get some ideas now unfortunately I can't just click on this and drag it over if I click on it it's just changing the colors that I have on my page so sometimes I'll just kind of take a look at this eyeball it and say hey I like the way those colors look together and then I'll come up and try to select them on my own but the, the little color wheels that you see are definitely an easier way to go in terms of selecting colors so I'm just going to go back to where I was and I'm going to go ahead and finish these out just like this I'm just going to follow this color palette again and so just following the whole thing I'm going to go back to my uh, so now that I have this I'm going to go ahead and um, do a technique that I've done before to kind of get sort of a wavy groovy look to this so in order to do this, I'm going to be saving this. So I always want to make sure I have everything the way I want it. It doesn't have to fill up the whole page because I can always make it bigger later. But I kind of want sort of some similar sizing. Maybe kind of pushing them together like that. Right. So I might do something like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just gonna try to get some sort of a wavy look to it. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna go ahead and save it right now. I'm gonna download it. I'm gonna keep it as a transparent background. And then we will do a technique that we've done earlier, which I'll show you again, just to kind of get a wavy look to it. So that I don't mess this up in case I need to go back, it's always easier to just add another page to work with. And then once I have another page up, there we go. I can always get rid of this when I'm done if I want to, but if I made a mistake, it's easy to come back if I've saved it. So adding another page is just another easy thing that you can do. So now I've got my design here uploaded. I can now use some photo effects on it. And so one of the ones I like to use is Liquify. If I use the Liquify, I can come down here and use the wobble effects that we've used before. And one of the cool things about the wobble effect is it will just sort of give it this distorted look. So again, I can distort it as much or as little as I want. And you can really sort of see how I can play with this. Ooh. But anyways, sometimes it looks good. Sometimes this one isn't wobbling the way I like it. So maybe I won't quite wobble it so much maybe something like that just to give it a little bit of a curve so that it's not totally straight but nothing super spectacular 
And so there you go, vasectomies prevent abortions. I can go ahead and resize it now, make it fill the whole page, center it, do whatever I want with it. At this point, if I want to add maybe some groovy flowers or something to it, I can come up to elements. Again, I can put groovy. And up will pop some groovy things, flowers or big ones, happy faces. So I can throw in some of these flowers that I can change the colors on. So like I like, I can put one right here if I want to. I can even make it big enough that it overlaps some of the letters. And then I can come up here and we can just sort of change some of these. Let's say I wanna make that the yellow color. I wanna make this sort of my, my coral color. Maybe that's gonna be a light blue. Maybe I wanna make that center color, my dark blue. And so I can do something like that and I can just reuse the colors. And I can take a couple of different um, flowers and sort of simulate the same thing using the colors that I have in my text. And so you can see how I can kind of give it a groovy look and there's a bunch of different ones that I can use. I can use several different kinds of flowers. You could do the happy faces, you could do whatever you want. Again, I'm gonna go here with my, maybe I'll make this one coral and I'll make that yellow. Oh no, I want that the other way. I want that coral and I want that yellow. And I'll make the inside blue. And so something like this. Maybe I put it there. And then the way these designs typically go is there's a little pair of scissors. <laughs> so again, I can put scissors and see what I come up with for graphics and I can pick, I kind of like these right here. And again, this lets me change the colors and it's already kind of the color of my design. So I kind of like the way that this is looking and just sort of something like that. If I want to make sure that this is exactly the right color, I can do that. I can also change some of these grays, but it looks pretty good how it is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say, this is my design right here. Vasectomies prevent abortions. And you know, we used a couple of different uh, colors that we found using the color palettes. So simple design again, it's already titled up here, vasectomies prevent abortion. Now, if you put this up on Amazon, it is going through right now. This is not a trademarked term. It will be under review for a while. Anything that's kind of a little bit more controversial will go into the under review, usually for a good day, maybe longer if you're in a lower tier. But so far they've all been going through. And so I haven't had any problems if that's what you're you know, kind of concerned about. So I'm just gonna go ahead, download this, do a transparent background. Here we only wanna download select page. So we wanna download page two. That's the one that we went with. So I can unclick that and then just click page two. So now I have my PNG, my transparent background, and I'm just saving 12, uh, page two, which is my current page. So that's this design here. And then I can download it. And that is the end of this design. Again, another quick, easy one to make, just a trending niche right now and just a different ways that you can use color palettes to kind of come up with different ideas. So I hope you found this useful. I hope you can use color palettes in the future to come up with some, some different design elements and uh, I hope to see you again. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.